Hi Taurus, I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for June 2020. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings, and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Taurus Sun, Taurus Ascendant, and Taurus Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. Also, if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months you may want to watch your cusp sign because there are people that have written me and said some months their psychic predictions and messages are coming to them from their cusp sign. So you might want to check that out. So all that being said, Taurus, now on to your June 2020 Psychic Tarot reading. And the first card you have in your reading today, Taurus, is the Emperor. And this is a paternal figure that's crossed over to the other side, watching you, guiding you, protecting you, giving you ideas and inspirations that may feel like they're yours, but they could actually be coming from the Emperor. This could be a father, grandfather, great-grandfather, someone like a father figure to you, or it could be somebody in the living, like a husband, an ex-husband, a father, grandfather, brother, uncle, strong male figure in your life. So either deceased or in the living. I feel that some of you Tauruses are trying very hard to accommodate someone that would be a strong male figure to you. You may feel like there's a lot of little things that you have to do over and over again for this person, or maybe there's a repeat of a cycle of things you have to do for them again in June. Some of you are going to have closures or endings that are coming up. Now, this could be the emperor warning you of that, saying, Taurus, there's closures and endings coming up in your life. This could be a deceased relative saying that to you. Or you could have closures and endings in June with the emperor. So you need to re-listen to what I just said there. Either they're warning you of a closing or an ending, or you're having a closing or an ending with the emperor in June. I feel like they're worked up about stuff. I think they're worked at, overwrought and worked out about stuff too because I get like worked up and tired of certain things like maybe they have to take certain medications or maybe they haven't been well for a while or maybe there's other things going on in their life that they're like worked up about. They don't feel they're agitated, worked up, agitated about it and they don't feel like doing it anymore. That's what I get from this emperor. It's always like you have to hold the key, the answers, the solutions, the help. I feel like you're doing a lot of things for the emperor. Doing this, doing that, getting this, getting that, taking him here, taking him there, getting this taken care of, getting that taken care of. And it could be like, this is a big part of what has to be done, karmically speaking. Through a karmic arrangement or agreement, you actually have made on the, when you were in the spirit form on the other side, you made this karmic arrangement or agreement with this emperor. For some of you, it could be a boss uh, that's like saying, Taurus, you need to do this for me. You need to do that for me. You need, you hold the answers. You got, you hold the solutions. So for some of you, I get, it's either a boss, a spouse, or a father. That's what it feels like the most strongly to me. But it's going to be different for all of you because it is a general reading. And I really get this strong, overwhelming energy that this emperor feels like you're going to fix things for them or you're going to make things right. Fixing things and making things right for this emperor. I feel like there's an element of you that is like burned out of this, tired of it, exhausted of whatever this is. I would like to be done with it and for it to be over uh, of like, because I do feel like a lot of this is, has been expected of you or will be expected of you. And you're always having to be the answer person, the solution person, uh, stepping up to the plate and getting things done. And I feel like you're getting kind of burned out over this situation. You have the eight of pentacles next, and this is Start learning a new craft, learning a new skill, starting a new job, starting a new business. This in the old time meanings of tarot would be called the card of the apprentice. You're gaining financial gains 
and rewards because eight draws money to you. So this would be a good money card. I feel there is a lot of stabilizing of your forces involving your income in June. And it's like you have to rectify things that and make things right. Things that were done incorrectly, things that were just that were haywire or need to be done correctly or put to rights. So I feel like it's all this, you got all this, uh, I don't know what's going on with you, Tarsus. It's all this like, you got to be the answer person. You got to be the fix it person. You got to be the make it right person. It came up in Emperor and still coming up here in the Eight of Pentacles. You may get indoctrinated into something and move up a scale or a level. Some of you may be receiving a degree of some sort, uh, you know, could be a doctorate. Could be a BA, an MBA, I don't know. <clears throat> I, I don't know what it's happening here for all of you, but I'm getting the words indoctrinated. I'm, get, I'm getting the graduation sense and I'm also getting moving up a scale or a level here. Eventually, some of you, not all of you, some of you Tauruses are going to have to travel to do with your work. That may come up as soon as the midpoint of July. Some of you are going to start a new business or get involved in dealing with new companies or new businesses or new clients or customers. That brings a whole new cash coming to you. I, I keep getting like things that were not done right or were out of whack or out of placement, you correcting people's mistakes. Maybe there were coworkers that made a lot of mistakes or there were some kind of systems that made mistakes or whatever. It could have to do with what was going on in the world and people were like not thinking clearly. I don't know, but I feel you are like correcting a lot of mistakes. Maybe not necessarily made by you. They could have been made by systems, co companies, organizations, clubs, I don't know, in other individuals. I also feel like this is a month for many of you Tarsus where there's going to be like sitting down around a table and having conferences and meetings. If it's not literally in person, it could still be happening on like on Zoom or whatever. But I get like there needs to be like a table discussion, conferences happening. You may be put in a leadership position or talking about how things are going to roll forward. You may be the solution person. You may be the lead person. You may be the head of the group or the discussion person. And I just want to add here, if you're interested in getting any of the most recent videos that I've recorded for my Vimeo on-demand pages, where I connect with my spirit guides over a variety of very specific topics and look into crystals and tarot cards or oracle cards or a combination and give you more psychic predictions and messages. Those links are always posted below in the description box down below this video in the show more section. And those links are always on my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos page and there you'll see all the different video series and the descriptions and what cards I've used and how long the uh, predictions are for. So I just wanted to say that here because some people don't listen to the end of the video to let you know there's a lot more psychic predictions and messages coming from my spirit guides channel through me than beyond what's here on YouTube. So thanks for letting me say that to you right here. You have the temperance card next. This is having to have patience. It can also be the card of the alchemist where you uh, God is working through you and what you're doing, thinking, creating, and saying in June of 2020. Getting, taking a lot of proactive steps, getting things organized, getting things in order, especially involved in um, making maps, plans, protocols, methods, techniques, and solutions that are going to be rolled out and move forward. Like that's what, Tauruses are going to be like, you know, uh, spinning around involved in your mind and what you're going to be working on. Some plan you put into action could actually be a dream come true where something will really take off. 
uh, and go in a really big direction that you want it to. If you are putting that kind of energy toward it in May, in, uh, well, May and June, you could be opening up new business, uh, a new business or new viable accounts, clients and customers and opening up new businesses to you comes up. You have to think about that. You could have a job where maybe you have to get new clients, new customers and get new accounts. I feel like all of that will be happening for those of you that have to do that. For those of you that are starting a new business, you would be opening up a new business and getting new customers, new clients, new accounts to your new business. So it doesn't matter whether you work for somebody else, I feel you're doing it or if it's your own business. And something you held out for or waited for will come through for you. May not happen in June, could happen in July or August. But <clears throat> if you were waiting at, holding out for something like, nope, I'm holding out for that person. I'm holding out for that account. I'm holding out for that client. I'm holding out for that particular thing that I need. And it's not available yet. Whether it's a person to work for you, whether it's an object or a technology or a piece of equipment that you need, uh, whatever it is, like something you're holding out for or have, have had patience about getting will end up coming through for you. And this is like some, just something you really need. It's going to be like the right ingredient, the, the solution. It's going to make things better or easier for you. Some of you that are trying to start a family are going to get pregnant this month or find out that you're pregnant. So the next card you have is Queen of Pentacles, and it's ironically in the very exact same position that Aquarius had it in their reading. They had Queen of Pentacles in card number four also. So this is it very likely could be you, Taurus. This is either a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign. It's an Earth sign person. This is where like all your diligence pays off. You're also going to be happy to see somebody succeeding in your life. This could be one of your kids. This could be somebody that you're close to and you care about. I do feel like you're witnessing somebody be very happy that things are finally starting to come through for them. Uh, it could be a job they've been waiting on. It could have been, uh, you know, getting a degree, get graduating from something. This could also be applying to you. So you're either happy about it's happening to you or you're happy about it that it's happening to somebody else in your life that you care a lot about. Also, if there were any mistakes that you made, they get erased or wiped away or forgotten about, or you will be forgiving somebody and erasing uh, and wiping away mistakes that somebody else did. So either it's mistakes you made get forgotten and cleared away, or you're clearing away and forgetting somebody else's mistakes. And where you had a lack of trust or faith in something, it's getting restored. So if it was lack or faith in the world, the government, the systems, or people that you work with or deal with in your life, it's like faith is getting restored. And don't be surprised if money doesn't kind of like pop up or come in for you from unexpected sources or unexpected ways or places in June. I do feel like something about things that are going on in June are going to make you feel more tra tranquil. Either you're going to have more time to yourself, which you may be like, really? I had tons of time to myself before. I don't know. It's like it's either you're going to have a vacation or more peace or time to yourself or something going on in the world or around you or in your life personally is making you feel more tranquil. You also may receive some notification that something is going to open up. Maybe there was a job you were waiting for and finally it's opening up for you or a home you wanted to buy and it was off the market and it's finally opening up for you, there's some notification you're finding out about that something's becoming available or opening up for you that you've wanted. And you're going to feel more like you'll have the ability to treat yourself more to some 
something like the good life or something that you want to purchase, like treating the ability to treat yourself to something also comes up here. So your last card in the reading for June is the Page of Cups. And this is a water sign person. This is either a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could also be you, Taurus, if you have a rising sign or moon sign. That's a water sign. This is somebody that's connected to you that I feel is having difficulties and they may be struggling. They may have been trying to hide things from you. It could have been emotions or other things. Pages can be children. So this could be a child to you. They can also be an adult that's immature or young at heart. It can also be a messenger about emotions or love. They're grappling with things, grappling with emotions and, their, and conditions that they don't really like what's happening. So this is somebody you're connected to in some way. If it's, it's either you, uh, your rising or moon sign, or it's someone you're very closely connected to. They may seek out help from you, advice from you, counsel from you. They may be seeking these things from you in June or July. You may feel like they need to get back on track. They need to get more on the ball. Uh, if they have any troubles with addictions, they may have slipped into uh, trouble with their addictions for some of you. That could be kicking up for some of these Page of Cups people. Uh, it could be depression. They're, I feel like they're struggling with something. Uh, it's either depression or addiction. It could be both. You're definitely going to help them. You're going to go out of your way to do anything for them that you can. I feel like you look at them like they are complicated people. Some of you, you're going to look at the Page of Cups like they want to do the right thing, but they feel like they can't or they're having too much struggle with it. For some of you, this could be somebody that's a child that's coming up with some really grown-up things to say and grown-up ideas. So keep in mind when the people cards come up, the court cards, the pages, the queens, you know, the knights, they're going to mean multiple things. Because for some of you, this is somebody that's actually going to stand up and make some kind of public speaking uh, presentation. They could be something in an art-related sense. It could be acting, singing, dancing, or art that they've created, or make some kind of outgoing, like they could play a musical instrument. So for it's going to be different for all of you. So listen to what I said. The first part of it came up as somebody that's depression, struggling with addiction and or depression, and is going to want your help financially or emotionally or both, and you're going to give it to them. And that you may view them as they're a person that's kind of complex and complicated. The other uh, the other Tauruses out here are, many of you will look at this person like they really are, they've come a long way. They are very mature, especially if they're a child, they're very mature for their age and are going to do something kind of like special, like a dance recital, a, mu a musical um, recital, a music recital, a dance recital, or some kind of performance of some sort that where they're going to shine. So your page of cups person comes up as different things here. So you just have to see how that plays out. So I pulled a gemstone crystal for you for the month of June, 2020, and I got lapis. So we'll see how lapis plays out and why this would be the best gemstone crystal for Taurus is to use in June. It's going to calm your temper, calm your moods, make you feel more serene. It's also going to have the, have the energy for you to get right to the point of what you either need to say or what you need to do, like to get down to business and get down to practical matters. It's also a good gemstone for you in the month of June to help you figure out solutions, to help you find solutions, which really is interesting because I could see why you would need solutions in the Emperor card and for some of you in the Page of Cups card. 
This is going to be a gemstone for you Tauruses that will help you discern between fact and fiction. What's fact and fiction? Very important right now to determine that. It's also going to help you have the clarity to show you what you can solve and what you can't. Like what you can tackle and solve and what is things that you just can't solve. It's also a strong stone for you in regard to success. So if you have to do anything where success is key, being successful at helping people, solving a problem or at work uh, or your own career and success, this is a stone to help you with success in June. So I hope these messages were of help to you and I hope they made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching and please like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe and you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. Now, if you're interested in getting any of the special videos I record on my Vimeo On Demand channel where I post psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides about very specific topics they are always on my Vimeo On Demand pages and those most recent links are posted down below in the description box in the show more section. And you can also access these links on my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. You go to the videos tab on my menu, you select from the video series you're interested in, select the sign you want, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now, as always, every month I do a psychic crystal reading. This month will be the psychic crystal readings for June, where I stop recording these videos here and go on to give you expanded messages and predictions for your zodiac sign for the month of June 2020. That link is down below. The other most recent links I have available are, it's that time of year again, it is the mid-year 2020 Psychic Tarot update where I'm doing the Bohemian Tarot spread, which is seven cards, to tell you what is going to happen, what I see, predictions and messages for the remainder of this really unusual year of 2020. That link is below. I've recently recorded my Psychic crystal reading. I'm sorry, I recently recorded my career and finance, psychic tarot, and crystal readings for the next 12 to 18 months. I recorded them in May. So those predictions go from May out a year to the next May or out until November of 2021. So if you're interested in seeing what's going to come up in your career and finances, you might want to check them out. And I did get requests, several requests for those videos, maybe because what's going on in the world. The other video link below this video is for the important angel messages for these changing times for each sign of the zodiac, where I used three different angel related cards and gave you more uh, deeper soul messages about what's going on for you. And there's also predictions and messages there as well. Also, the other link is what's lucky and new for you. Psychic tarot readings plus an oracle card for each sign for 2020. So the what's lucky and new for you in 2020, that is that link is also below this video. Now, if you would like to uh, donate to this channel and help support this channel and the readings I do here on YouTube, I have a donation link below. And I want to say thank you so much to all of you kind people who have generously donated to me. I do appreciate it. It does mean a lot and it is helpful. So thank you so much for that. If you would like to get more predictions and messages from me that you're not going to see here on YouTube that I channel my spirit guides messages, you can also find those messages on my social media pages, the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook the Psychic Pastry Chef LLC, also on Facebook, and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgel on Instagram. I use many different divination tools, 
different tarot card decks, different oracle card decks, angel card decks, animal totem decks, sacred geometry, oracle cards. I look into my crystal. You never know what I'm going to use and you never know what the guides are going to say. And many people find these messages resonate with them. So they may resonate with you as well. So please be sure to check me out on those social media pages. And those predictions are not just for the day I post them. Many times they're for weeks in advance or a couple weeks out, a few months out. You never know. So I hope all of you have an absolute outstanding month of June and know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Mm -hmm.